Hello there, this is Rich from HouseBrands.com, our family renovates houses, and today we're going to show you a possible solution if you're having trouble starting your lawnmower. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing because we want to show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a ton of money. Right, Claire? Alright, so it's spring and this past weekend I went to start my mower and it wouldn't start. I realized that last fall I left some gas in the mower. Normally I would run it out on the last mow of the season, but I guess I forgot to. So my first thought is the reason this mower isn't starting is because it's got some old gas and that was exactly the problem. To remove the old gas, I use this tool which is called a siphon. And there's a lot of siphons on the market, all different price ranges, but they all basically perform the same function. So you've got a little pump here and you've got two tubes. You're gonna just put this end into the tank that you want to drain, and then you'll work the pump. This other end will go into a container that's going to hold whatever liquid that you're removing. First thing you want to do before you're doing this job is go to the gas station with an empty one gallon gas container and get some really good quality gas. So the higher the octane, the better. So you want to get premium gas above 87 octane and that'll be perfect for this job. All right, so I'm just going to unscrew the gas cap here. And you can see there's some gas down in there. Whenever you're dealing with a flammable material like gasoline, make sure there's nothing that'll cause a spark in the area. In order to do this job, you're gonna need a gas container to collect the old fuel into. All right, so this end goes into your gas tank. And the other end goes into your gas container. And you just push down on the pump. You can see how all the gas is coming out of the tank and going around the tube into the collection canister. You can tilt your mower a little bit like that to get the last reserves of gas out of the tank. You can pick up a siphon like this at almost any hardware store. And you can also get it on Amazon. We're Amazon affiliates and we'll put a link in the description below. So you can just click on that link and Amazon will send it right to you. So now you'll just fill your gas tank with that fresh gas that you got, that high octane premium gas, and hopefully the mower will start. So then you can bring the old gas to a hazardous waste disposal site and they'll dispose of it for you in an environmentally safe way. All right, if your mower still won't start, there's a couple of other pretty easy things to check. And the first one would be your air filter. So your air filter is gonna be in a housing and you can see this one's like really dirty. If it's a paper element like this, you can try to bang it on something and clear it out. There could be a lot of leaves and different debris in here and you want to get that as clean as possible. Actually, for the spring, you'd be better off just replacing this, and which is what I'm gonna do. Now your filter may also be like a foam material, in which case you can wash it out with soapy water and then make sure it's dry before you reinstall it. And then try to start the mower. Now if it still doesn't work, the third idea is to change your spark plug. On this mower, the spark plug is right here. So you would just remove that, look in your owner's manual for the correct spark plug. Then you wanna get, make sure it's properly gapped. There's a little gap tool that you can get. And then you will put oil on the threads and reinsert it. Put the boot back on. Make sure that's on nice and tight. It should snap in place. It's also a good idea to change your oil at the beginning of each mowing season. So if you have clean oil, a new spark plug, a new clean air filter, and especially new fresh premium gas, your mower should start right up. If you got anything out of the video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that helps out our channel and we really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because we have a ton of home improvement videos on the way. Thanks much for viewing and we'll see you in this video.